You know, it's hard to be perfect, especially if you're an artist making each piece of work by hand. Recently, Rob Wiles met a jewelry maker in Cookville who tries to make each piece of his work perfect for the buyers and owners. A guy who finds inspiration in the perfection of nature. If you go to downtown Cookville, you'll find Spicer and Company, a sparkling jewel of a store. And you might find its owner, Stephen Spicer, there, looking every bit the sophisticated man he is. But if you want to get more of a feeling for the artist, you're more likely to do that if you visit his studio a long way from downtown. What is it about being out here in the woods that you like? Well, it's peaceful. I mean, it's absolutely peaceful, and you can't beat it. You know, it's mm -hmm. calm, and I can sit down and just enjoy it. Well, an enjoyable walk in the woods with Stephen Spicer is also research. If you lift up a log, <laughs> you find all sorts of fungus, <laughs> find mushrooms, all sorts of little growing things, and I like the patterns that they produce. A lot of my Mokame that I work with it has circular patterns and they intertwine and they mix and I like that idea of it. So, mm -hmm. but I like the small things. I mean, this is beautiful, but you know, I'm usually looking under a rock. So, <laughs> you know, if I find the right one. Stephen takes the inspiration of nature and some of nature's most precious materials, gold and silver, and sets to work to create his own type of perfection, which is challenging every time you touch it. <laughs> you know, it's never the same. It's, it's something new every day. A little mistake becomes a big problem later on, so you gotta get it perfect every time. And so I like the challenge of it. And because of the way I work, it's never the same. So it's always different. Is it forgiving at all, or if you make a mistake, you're just sometimes messed um, up? Yes, sometimes you're able to go, oh, that's perfect. That made it a much more beautiful piece. <laughs> uh -huh. um, or other times, it's uh, got to refine it and get the precious metals back. Mm -hmm. so, melt it down, start over. Yeah, melt it down, start over. Sometimes a long road to a finished creation. I basically get the raw material, so I get 24 karat gold if I'm working with gold and I alloy it. I am a bit of a control freak, so I alloy it from uh, the start and just start making those pieces from there. So um, I alloy it, I make it into sheet, wire, whatever I need to use in the process. And then it's a matter of sitting down, sanding, cutting out, soldering, and just piecing them together. And the soldering is always if my mistake's gonna happen, it's always gonna happen in the soldering. So I'm pretty good at cutting it, what I need to cut it, but the soldering is always the, the, the surprise. <laughs> Shouldn't be, not after 20 years of doing this, but it is. Eh, it's not gonna be perfect. Perfection is just not possible when each piece is handcrafted. It's always gonna be different, and you're always gonna see aspects of handmade. My idea of perfection would be, you know, perfect piece of jewelry, but it, I'm never going to reach that in my lifetime. But I hope to get really close. <laughs> well, you're but, just kind of setting yourself up for frustration then, aren't you? No, you just accept it. <laughs> it's just part of it, so you can't have it perfect. So you might think Stephen is just setting himself up for frustration until you understand his definition of perfection. His pieces must be perfect for the person who will wear them. I want it to be the most perfect piece of jewelry that they own and that it fits them perfectly and no other piece of jewelry will be the most beautiful on them other than my work. So I know that's a little egotistical, but you know, you got to try for something. Well, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> we can only hope that Stephen Spicer of Cookville never achieves perfection, so he'll keep striving for it with pieces that come pretty darn close.